According to several reports, CIA Director William Burns plans to meet in Europe with officials from Israel, Egypt, and Qatar. This is a follow-up to a meeting they had in November aimed at securing the release of the remaining 100 or so hostages. Under the new plan, the captives would be freed reportedly in exchange for a two-month ceasefire. In November, Qatar, which is dealing with Hamas, convinced the group to release 105 prisoners during a ceasefire that lasted a week. Correspondent Sarah Coates is in Tel Aviv and joins us now with more on both of these developing stories. Hey, Sarah. Good morning. As you mentioned, the ICJ is stopping short of demanding a ceasefire there in Gaza, but it has issued an emergency order for Israel to refrain from committing any genocidal acts, also saying that it must report monthly and allow more humanitarian aid into the Strip. So, look, this is uh, certainly just breaking news. We don't have any reaction yet from Israel. Now, this comes, as you mentioned, as there potentially could be yet another hostage deal in the works. We do know that the head of the CIA, Bill Burns, also the Mossad, David Bonilla, Egypt's spy chief, along with Qatar's prime minister, they are all meeting this weekend in Europe for high-level talks and what we do need to remember is that this was the group that really got together last time to broker this uh, pause and to get these more than 100 Israeli captives out of the Gaza Strip. So there is a lot of quiet optimism surrounding these talks this weekend. But look, what we do understand is one of the main sticking points here is, of course, the end of the war. What we've been hearing from Israel time and time again is there must not be any ceasefire until all of these more than 130 hostages are returned back to Israel. But Hamas's standpoint here is that it won't return any of these hostages until there is a ceasefire. So this will certainly be very delicate for this group to try and navigate through this. But what we do understand from this potential deal, from these potential talks, is that firstly, Hamas has proposed something like a 10 to 14 day period of a pause in fighting before it will release any of these captives. Uh, we do understand that this could see a two month pause in fighting. This is from Israel's standpoint. And then these captives would be released in batches. Firstly, it would be women and men over the age of 70, and it would end with male soldiers or men of fighting age and also the bodies of those who've died in the Strip. So certainly a lot for these people to go through this weekend. But as I mentioned, there is a lot of quiet optimism here in Israel at a time when there's so much anger being directed at the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu with people protesting right now, despite this terrible weather that you're seeing here. Uh, there are a group of people right now down at the Karem Shalom crossing. That's that tri-border crossing with Egypt, Israel and Gaza. And they are continuing to block trucks aid trucks from going into the Gaza Strip uh, for the third straight day, saying that no aid should go in while captives remain inside Gaza. Correspondent Sarah Coates live in Tel Aviv. Thank you, Sarah.